Hey, I'm Ren. This is my model Sage. Today we're going to be doing the graduated A-line bob. So to start with, we've started with the profile parting, front to back, the diagonal forward sections from the occipital bone to about the middle of the ear. We'll start by taking a central vertical section. My line decreasing in Utilizing our guideline that we just cut, everything's going to direct off to 90 degrees. Again, I'm cutting that line to decrease the length. Same approach on the opposite side, however, my hand position will be changing, my fingers will be pointing down, working with the curvature of the head. Parallel diagonal forward sections. Just going to continue up the head in the same manner, utilizing our guideline from beneath. Continuing that line to increase in length as we move up the edge. As I get in, around into the side of the head now, it starts to over direct back as though she were on a motorcycle ride. See that little weight line getting to spill up there? So we'll just take this approach on the other side again. Body position changes, fingers pointing down. Moving with the contours of Sage's head. And I'm just checking my balance as 
I move through each section. Now at this point of the year, our sections are going to, we're going to take pivoting radials all the way up until we're pretty much straight up through the crown. Again, starting at the center of our new section. We're just going to continue as we have connecting the hair to the guideline beneath it. Again, we're uh, elevating the hair at 90 degrees. Continuing that line with its increase in length. Following through, same technique. As I get into the sides, hair slightly over directs back. And that's going to start building up length behind the ear. taking pivoting radials. increase in length here. If we wanted to modify this, soften it up a bit further, we could remove that corner, round that off a bit more to the head shape. Something you can always look at too once you've dried the cut and you can see how the hair is laying, how it's responding in its natural state. Something you can uh, touch up in the finishing. section parallel to the radial parting I've got there. So I'm just going to move forward about an inch. Take that section on both sides. Center. Again, it's going to direct straight back, 90 degrees, connect to that guideline.
moving into the sides, we're going to start taking diagonal forward sections that are going to start at the radial and connect to the front hairline. We're going to take those at a diagonal forward angle. So once I've taken that section, I'm going to comb it perpendicular to the angle or to the parting. And we're going to connect that with the guideline from behind the radial parting. So we're maintaining that length. We're just going to work out taking parallel sections. section is combed at the same angle. All right, we're going to take the same approach on the opposite side. Stop it, I'm gonna blow it out. And we'll just shoot a, a, a picture of the finish. Right. There we have it.